What is going on, everybody out there? My name is Kwaku, and welcome to the series. This is Fate Extella Link. This is my first time playing any game in the Fate series. What you're gonna see on this channel is probably the first video of its kind on this channel. What you're gonna see is just about every single, you know, anime, basically mostly RPG game that I can find that looks interesting to me. And Fate Excel Link was one of those things. I have some other ones, the Trails of series. Obviously, we're gonna dig into Final Fantasies and all that stuff, but true anime games, this is one of them. And this is one I wanna look at. Code Break is there too. There's our Code uh, Code Vein is one of those two. Let's jump in. This is Fate Axela Lake. So here it is. Let's get started. I'm playing this on PC. It says Auto Save Data Lost. Start new game. Yep. I'm playing this on PC, and um, yeah, I don't know what to expect. I I really don't know what to expect. I'm sure because this game is not very new. Um, there isn't a lot of you guys have probably already beaten this entire series already but bear with me i haven't to make sure everything looks nice and crisp game settings normal major enemies only um okay let's see what about the chat speed message speed yeah there we go i want the message speed to go a little fast i don't want it to be an instant but i want it to be fast and then the, the settings is there a difference between hard and easy and normal do they give you more stuff is the question Message autoplay. Yes, let's add that too. Subtitles are on. Um, just making sure everything looks good here. I don't even. What I don't know also is, does this game? Is this game Japanese or is this English? I don't even know. Uh, let me see. So we have visual settings. All the settings are on high. Protagonist voice is on. Input settings is all good to go doesn't look like I can change the language so let's hope for the best I keep clicking in let's hope for the best and let's 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 get started I really don't know what to expect one thing you guys got to know about me is I don't care what game it is if I can choose male or female I'm gonna choose female I'm already a guy choose the female first name okay we gotta start a legacy all right we gotta start a legacy so let's name her uh I usually name my Final Fantasy characters on Final Fantasy 14 online, Joelle, and then I usually go over, I don't know what the last name should be, um, uh, uh, mm, this is the hardest part because this, this goes permanent, Joelle, uh, 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 Zhang. It's not Japanese. Don't judge me. All right, let's get started. Seraph. Oh well, that that was too quick loading. All right, I'll shut up. Fate XL link. A new item has been added. Whoa. Already. I wonder how much time has passed. I'm still here, here in this city within Seraph, the sea of... Seraph is a virtual world built inside a supercomputer called the moon, Cells. So that's because of this location on Earth's moon. Expert hackers known as wizards support the integrity of Seraph. So do, can, can I, oh, turn off autoplay. Okay, whew, all right. Expert hackers known as wizards support the integrity of Seraph. So do the many AI entities constructed from the moon cell, vast memory banks, and so do the heroic spirits, figures of history and, and legend whom the moon cell has brought to digital life as scholars and warriors. I lived through a war. I'm making sure I'm actually recording because that would be very upsetting. I lived through a war for the fate of moon cell and the world holds inside. The war is over now. This city is so full of life. 
Many humans, desperate to flee the disaster-ridden Earth, have found a new home in Serat. Even if this world's NPCs, who were once a little more than drones, have gained their own sort of consciousness. The population is still sparse compared to Earth's heyday, but we are still starting to see and more to see more i cannot read to see more and more people around it may take time but if everything goes well we may see an entire new countries spring up in this world even if this world is composed of data or data its citizens look think and feel just like everyday people like altera the little girl beside me who was a warrior once an enemy but the moon cells power and few lucky gambits have her chance to start over. They're gonna get fussy if we don't if we stay out too long. Alright, I'm gonna lower the volume just a little bit. Huh? I, I don't remember this place. More talking. Altera stops walking after she mutters that. It's not an unusual phenomenon for the moon cell to generate new areas, but... <gasps> What's that? Altera pulls my sleeve. Another new item. Attack programs, but why? She's right. Those are Seraph's attack programs standing in front of us, armed and ready. Let's run away for now. I'm not big enough to fight yet. Gonna learn today. We've managed to evade attack programs for the moment, but we can't rest easy yet. Those attack programs will delete us both if they catch us. We need a heroic spirit, a servant. Uh oh. We're surrounded. There's nowhere to run. My only choice is to use one of my command seals to summon a servant. I have two to choose from, Saber, Nero Claudius, or the caster, Tamamo, or Nome. I'm probably saying all these wrong. I'm gonna pick caster, not Saber. First servant. I remember what Saber looks like. I remember from watching one of the anime, but like, caster, I don't really remember too much. I don't watch it that much. Okay, okay, okay. Like Dynasty Warriors dead. Don't smile at me. Yo, I'm you doing all right? A young man appears in front of me like a falcon on a spring breeze. He doesn't move like a human does. He's not a wizard like me. He must be a heroic spirit. But I've never seen him before. I'd remember if I had. And I'm the only one master on Seraph, so no other person could have summoned him. Did the Moon Cell itself call him up? This is unknown servant. This unknown servant nods and scratches his head as if he was a little embarrassed. Yep, looks like you're the one who summoned me. I'm like, you know, one of those rogue servants, I think. Well, don't get hung on the small stuff. Think of it like winning the lotto. Now go ahead and give me some orders. Whatever the case, it looks like he's willing to fight as my servant. No complaints then. We'll fight through this battle together. Alright, here we go. Witness the awesome. Yeah. Wow, so every as it goes through, you're going to just keep unlocking little things at the bottom. I wish that message didn't pop up so much. I don't really care that new item is I can hear him. There's no mistake. He's a heroic spirit. A great hero of history, mythology, or literature, whose records are collected in the moon cell. I, it keeps skipping. Is it going to skip? Okay, good. On Seraph's battlefield, there's no greater force. They wield weapons they held on in legends, in history, in the memories of the people, and they make the impossible possible. As a master, I know that power better than anyone else. 
My class is Saber, but you can tell I'm a servant, obviously. But I didn't summon Saber, did I? I summoned Caster. Unless something happened and I didn't summon Caster. I don't want Saber. You know, you probably already know how to fight, but how about a little warm-up? Alright now, call upon your regalia. Your royal lord authority. Light him up, I'll knock him down for you. I could have sworn I picked up a uh, caster and not Saber. So that, you press, press that, it's like Dynasty Warriors. All right, move a servant. Yep, A to jump, that to dash, and move the camera. X for light attack, Y for heavy. Defend with LB, combos can be performed with combinations, yada, yada, yada. Yep, like a fighting game. All right. Boom, 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 uh-huh. Active skills, hold RB and open the active skill menu. Press XYBA to use an active skill. So you gotta hold RB and then you can pick one. All right, got it. Servant's level increases, you will gain a new active skills. I see it right there. Or existing ones will be strengthened. Got it. Uh, I, don't, I don't have any, act oh, I do, I do. I didn't see, all right. The screen, it pops up so fast. All right, let's try Eruption. It's pretty dope, it's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. Gotta, gotta change the camera. Okay, drive gauge. It's like Sora and Kingdom Hearts. Alright. These mana spheres will be added to the drive gauge. When the drive gauge is full, press B to activate your moon drive mode. Got it. Is my drive gauge on? No. Okay. Oh, press. Who am I even locking onto? Oh. Okay. I didn't get to activate my moon drive mode, but oh, now I can. All right. Can I can I activate moon drive? Moon drive. All right. Moon drive and end phantasm gauges while in a moon drive state. A servant's attack and defense will greatly increase, allowing them to fight with overwhelming power. If you defeat the enemies while in moon drive mode, you can select the golden mana spheres. These spheres will increase the noble phantasm gauge. Once the gauge is full, press LT to unleash your noble phantasm, your ultimate loot. Moon drive mode will end once the gauge is empty. So I gotta just keep attacking for the What are these big boys right here? I don't even know what I'm attacking for. All right, and then it says hold LT. Right, it says hold LT. Right. Wait. When the moon drive gauge is full, you hold LT. I just want to keep my combo. That's pretty much it. Drive skill it says by pressing B while moon drive, the powerful attack can decimate numerous foes, but the moon drive will instantly end. All right. Drive skill. Ooh, this is dope. Oh my goodness. It's so colorful. I'll just send bigger guys as soon as I'm done. Alright. Yeah, alright. Says when the Noble Phantasm gauge is full, you can reveal the true name of your Noble Phantasm with LT, thereby activating it and inflicting major damage to the entire sector. Yo, I want to see this. What is this? What's what's even happening? What? The holy light will never fade. Glowing clock. What? What? See, this is why I like these kind of games. It's it's so pointless the animations, but this is why I like these kind of games. Look how absurd it is, but it's a, a great. Joy use Andre. Probably said it wrong. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this art. Everything is dead. Everything is straight up dead. Of course you finished the mission. This is why I like games like this. Look at this thing is still bleeding. I can get used to this. This, this is going to be a thing I keep doing.
This heroic spirit is strong. Everywhere his shining blade glitters. Enemy attack program. Oh, wait. Okay. Enemy attack program has melted away. He might even be on par with some of the top servants from the war. But how could he, could he be? Could he possibly have slipped under the radar all this time? I'm sure you have questions. We'll get to that. As if he'd already read my mind. If As if he'd read my mind. The falcon on the spring smiles at me. What should I do now? You know, I could fly out of here on a whirlwind just like that. Wouldn't that be awesome? I just want caster. I didn't want saber. Is that what you do? You just pop into fights and then fly off? Yeah, no, you, you've got a point. Alright, first, let me take you guys to safety, then we'll get a few things to talk about. Hmm, what's up with this little lady? Al Altera stares up at the sky. There's something mysterious behind her eyes. For a moment, it reminds me of the first time I saw her. Wonderful and dangerous. It's, it's calling. What? I see. It's calling me. I have to go. Uh, I'm sorry. I really have to go. I really do have to. You won't have to worry about me. Before anything can push past my lips, Altera is gone. Did she just get summoned by another side? By the other side? Does he know where he went? Where she went? When I ask him, he scratches his head uncomfortably. Well, yeah, probably. But let's just say we're not catching up with her anytime soon. It's all right. I think he just wanted. To, I think he just wanted to talk to her. Look, on my honor, I can swear to you that she's not in danger. You better swear. I ask him who he is. That's. No, I'll explain that later. I mean, you were going to go meet up with your other servants, right? Besides, everyone on Seraph, that's a weird acronym, will know his name soon enough. That's fine, as long as there's a good explanation coming soon, I'll give him a terse nod. You know, you're pretty open-minded about all this. I guess that's how you were won. I guess how this how you won the Holy Grail War. I remember that one. I think that was on Fate, Fate something on Netflix. I saw that about the Holy Grail War. Uh, well then, I guess uh, your mastery. Would it be great, Master? My dear Master? I don't even know what to call you. Uh, I tell him he can call me Master, or just use my name. Oh, alright. Well then, my Master, I'm with you now. And you can call me... Uh-oh, wait a second. Were we supposed to hide our true names, right? <laughs> right, of course, uh, I got this. True names are super important. You can't even go around telling everybody, not even your own master. Right? Right, as a servant's true name should stay hidden so as to hide the servant's strengths and weaknesses. Every servant who's ever fought in the Holy Grail War knows that rule. I remember that, yeah. Yeah, but... Okay, but you know what? I'm gonna tell you anyway. Oh god. My true name is Charlemagne. Please carve it into your heart, Master Seraph. This saber, Charlemagne, just spilled his true name right out the gate. Oh yeah, that feels great to have that off my chest. Too many secrets weigh you down, you know. Oh, very important. I, I want you to call me Charlie. I mean, you can call me Charlie or Chuck or anything else, but not the other name I'm famous by. Not that I don't like the name. It's just kind of a heavy name for me to carry around these days. You know what? Feel free to call me Charlie. 
I'm still processing the surprise of hearing his name, Charlemagne. The main figure in, in legend that bears his name is also known in history as Charles the Great. He was counted as one of the nine worthies, right alongside King Arthur, King David, and Julius Caesar. No wonder he breathed through the blast of that last battle. So Master, first we gotta get back to Rome, right? I'm counting on you. I clasp his outstretched hand. His grip strength is strong, and the vestiges of youth enthusiasm. And that's how we begin our strange journey together. And that's how this channel also began its strange journey. In the second part, we're going to pick up right from this save point. I'll probably have already saved, but we're going to pick up right from this save point. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.